Good morning, turd brain. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. <laughs> Hello again, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, a professional artist and educator attempting to bring you the best in art historical content and videos. <clears throat> well, I'll, uh, I'll let you two hit the books. As you hopefully know by now, I appreciate the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. I'll take any of it and all of it. Okie dokie, no problemo. Now, it wasn't too long ago I created a video on the American artist Georgia O'Keeffe, and I talked a lot about different works of hers, and there's one that I really want to pinpoint on in this video called From the Lake, a 1924 masterpiece of hers. Let's take a look. I'm here in Des Moines, Iowa at the Des Moines Art Center where we're going to take a look at a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. I love visiting the Des Moines Art Center. It's a very great modern art showcase, but it also has a lot of historical pieces. From the Lake Number 1 is an abstraction of her time at Lake George. She would spend a lot of time there with Alfred Stieglitz's family. It was an oasis away from New York at Lake George, and she loved spending her time out there. This particular painting is a bit of a rare abstraction for what she was doing in the 1920s. But the point of me showing this particular painting is that upon inspection, you can see how unperfect some of her line work is. You can see how jagged some of the lines are. When one inspects O'Keeffe's work from a distance, it looks perfect. It looks so sharp and crisp. But when you get really, really close to it, it's not quite as sharp as you might think. And the moral of that story is, as an artist, sometimes we have to know, okay, this is what I want. This is the tone that I want. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. As artists, we can't bully ourselves and beat ourselves down because something isn't absolutely perfect. Sometimes the perfection comes from taking a step back and observing from a distance like a normal viewer would see the work. What do I know? I color for a living, but I love that story. The head of my fan club is Nan Gora Sweater. <laughs> Comes out of Dubuque, Iowa, you know, she's really fuzzy, though, man, you know. 